Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Lawrence High School Stadium. Tonight's game features the Irish of Notre Dame and the Lawrence Cardinals. The Irish are led by their head coach, Sean Clancy. The head coach of the Cardinals is Rob Raddus. The Irish Cardinals request that all spectators reflect the attitude of good sportsmanship. Appropriate behavior as set forth by the West Jersey Football League is expected at all times. Tonight's contest is being conducted according to the rules of the New Jersey State High School Athletic Association. These rules provide for fair competition among players. Spectators can help promote good sportsmanship by observing the rules of fair play. Any verbal, written, or physical conduct related to race, gender, ethnicity, disability, sexual orientation, or religion shall not be tolerated, could subject the violator to ejection, and may result in penalties being assessed against your team. Each one is requested to take personal responsibility for keeping this competition at a high level of good sportsmanship. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, we direct your attention to midfield where team captains and officials are gathering for tonight's coin toss. The officials assigned to this game are members of the New Jersey State Interscholastic Athletic Association. The rules governing this game are National Federation football rules as adopted by the NJSIAA. These rules differ from those used in college and professional football. Tonight's officials are referees by Kramer, the umpires are Nick Lucio, the line judges Tom Carr, the head lineman Jack Watcho, side judges Albert L. Field judge Ron Buka and on the clock, Eric Hamilton. The Irish have won tonight's toss and have elected to defer to the Cardinals. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we respectfully request that you please rise, remove your hats, and join us as we respectfully honor America and all those who serve in the United States Armed Forces as tonight's national anthem is performed by the Lawrence High School Marching Band. would like to remind you that use of artificial noise makers and throwing objects on the field is not permitted and could result in removal from the stadium. In addition, Lawrence High School is a smoke-free campus, tobacco use in any form, in any indoor or public area on campus is strictly prohibited. Please help us keep our campus litter-free by placing all trash in the trash receptacles located throughout the field and future areas. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Lawrence High School home of the Cardinals. We have the LTPS, we have the Lawrence, this is LTPS TV, Sports Hire, commentating in the game here live at Lawrence High School Stadium. Today we have a cross-state rivalry between the Notre Dame, Notre Dame Fighting Irish between the Lawrence Cardinals. It should be a very exciting game. Lawrence Cardinals have won the toss, they will kick it off, so here comes Ben, ben Cohen. For the Cardinals. Is ben Cohen the is here to, Ben Cohen will, will begin the, the kick off.
And here we are underway. A bit of a squib kick that was. Now taken by. And then the, he is taken down and around the 40 yard line. So here comes the Notre Dame Fighting Irish who have scored 55 points and 42 points in their final last two games, both at home against Allentown and Ewing. So they, let's see how many, so this will be their first road game today. All right, first and 10 for the Irish. Up in the backfield is, up is William Cortez in the backfield. There's a snap. Pass is caught by number, pass is caught by Leon Jones. He goes up to the sideline, gets tackled around the 48 yard line. It'll be first down, it'll be second down. Caught by number two, Leon, Jones. Leon Jones. It'll be taken and he will be on the play. And we have a flag. Irish. And there's a holding penalty on the Irish. That'll be 10 yards. That'll send him way back to the 25 yard line. What it'll be first and It'll be first and it'll be first and ten. Well, uh, first and at the Notre Dame 32 yard line. Excuse me. Uh, correction. 32 yard line. My bad. 32 yard line. So it'll be at the Notre Dame 32 yard line. That'll be a penalty. Huge penalty. It'll be first and ten. Uh, first and ten. Twenty. First and twenty for the Irish. First and twenty for the Irish. Uh, for the Lawrence Cardinals. I mean for the. Uh, no, for, Here's a snap and it's handed off to it's handed off to William Cortez and William Cortez takes it all the way down the sideline for a gain. Wins the ball carrier for, for the Irish takes it up across midfield. Takes it up across midfield into Cardinal territory. Into, Cardinal territory, into the 46-yard line by the official. First and ten. For First the and Irish. ten. Now let's get him a new set of downs and just watch the hole right there as you know uh, the quarterback able to make a nice play makes a calls the snap. Heads, um, you know, uh, you know, snaps it right to Cortez, and he makes able to, and he's able to head to the left. Great job by the O line, able to head there, and he's able to get a nice gain. Now another handoff to Corey Williams. Williams heads all the way down to the, to deeper into territory. He'll be near first down if that'll have it. Inside the 40. He'll be inside the 40 yard line, and it'll be first. And, it'll be second and short. It'll be second and short. From here. Second and two for the Irish. Second and two to be specific. Court Williams still in the shotgun. They takes a snap. It'll be a pass here. It'll be Jake Renda. Fast throw to the end zone. It is caught for a touchdown. Notre Dame. Touchdown, Jake Renda takes a pass. pass caught by number two, Leon Jones. Leon Jones, the running back, catches it for a touchdown. Notre Dame fighting Irish. That was a 40-yard pass and just amazing play right there. Double coverage, Leon Jones able to double, able to outfight, able to, uh, it was a battle right there for two guys on him and he catches a touchdown. 40-yard touchdown for the Notre Dame fighting Irish. George Christophe is on for the extra point. George for the extra point. The kick is up and it is down. And number 10 just going to throw it out of the end zone and it is incomplete. So Sean Mulligan, the ball fake and the bad snap there. So instead of 7 0, it'll be 6 0. And Lawrence will have the ball now. What an amazing drive. Four plays and Notre Dame scores 6 0. So with 10 20 left in the first quarter, the Irish 6. The Cardinals, nothing. Six nothing. The Cardinals are up. Just an amazing drive by the Cardinal. Uh, for, I mean, you know, they started a bit. It, it, um, they had a rough start, uh, rough patch in the beginning of the drive. They had a holding penalty to begin the drive, so it was a bit of a rough. You know, they didn't know what they were doing, but now they're starting to click. Leon Jones again, a great play. First, he runs for about 30 yards there, and now catches a 40-yard touchdown. Great job by, uh, and great job by Jake Renna. So this rushing offense is probably one of the best. Uh, one of the best. So it'll be first, so Lawrence will have the ball. They'll have a chance to return. Brandon Decker, the starting quarterback for Lawrence, will be out with an injury today. So the star, star player, Deion Jones, will, uh, sorry, Deion McLean, will now be starting for the Lawrence Cardinals. George Krasif, George Krasafis will be taking the free. This has teed up for the Irish, and he's set to kick deep. Krasafis will begin to take the kick, and now here we come to Lawrence of I believe it'll be Gabe Mitchell, Gabe Mitchell White who will be taking the kick and returning it here. 10-6-10. 10-6-10.
10.20 left to go in the first quarter. An amazing drive by the Lawrence, uh, by the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Let's see what the Lawrence Cardinals can do to respond. They're down 6 nothing. Here we go. And here is the kick by Chris Office. The kick goes down the field and it is going to, oh, bobbled the snap and now, here we go. Going up the field and it'll get around the, I'd say roughly around the, the seven, the 16 yard line. So great hustle. Uh, great um, He bobbled the snap again. I think that threw a little bit of his conscience off right there. So now he'll be at the 16-yard line. He'll be first and 10. Lawrence really needs to respond here, and they got to take the lead here. Notre Dame is a fighting Irish offense. When their offense clicks, they score a lot of points. They score plenty of points, and they can be very dangerous here. So Lawrence has to respond in every aspect they can. It'll be first and 10 now for Lawrence. Dion McLean. will be first and 10. That'll be, so correction, 18 yard line, the ball will be at 18 yard line for the Lawrence Cardinals. 10, 12 left to go in the first half, in the second and first quarter, opening quarter. Here's a running play now. Good haul. And he'll get to the, I say he get around roughly around two to three yards on that play. So good run for Lawrence. And sometimes, you know, you're not going to get too many home run plays like that. Sometimes you got to take a little bit of a punch out there, see how this all line is, see how their D-line is, and that's all you got to test. So right now, this D-line is not being played around right now. They're ready to go up against this Cardinal defense, this Cardinal offense. This all line also got to make some big holes for this Lord and this Cardinals team. So it'll be second down and eight or second down and seven, roughly around there. Second and eight for the Cardinals, down around their 20-yard line. A snap by, a wild caught by Dion McLean, and he won't get far as he's taken down or roughly around the Dion 20. McLean on the quarterback keeper for the Cardinals. Taking around the 22 yard line. And get up to the Cardinal 21 yard line. It'll be around the 21 yard line. So it's third down and seven now. The Cardinals need to go play. I the Cardinal, Notre Dame is probably going to looking blitz here. It's third and seven right now. They're going to bring all the pressure in. The Cardinals are expecting to throw right now. So let's see what happens. You could do a running play, but it's not going to work so well because this offense has stopped them twice. So well, let's see what the Cardinals can do. Deion McLean, not much of a thrower, more of a wild caught option. So we need to, they need to get to around the, th the 28 yard line for a first down here. So here's a snap by Deion McLean. He takes a running play and it is, and he won't get far as he takes it upfield only roughly around two two yards so it'll be fourth down and fourth down and uh, fourth down and seven the cardinals will be forced to punt it away in will come ben cohen the punter and kicker for the team and they'll punt it away game mitchell white was the ball carrier down for the so the cardinals will begin to punt it away here as already the, an impressive start by this notre dame d-line they you know they read the run really well um you know lawrence is trying to fake him with the run there they read him really well. Here's a punt by Ben Cohen, and it goes all the way down the sideline to roughly around the 50, 40 yard line. So the Notre Dame offense will come up on the field, and they will start mid round midfield to around the 40, 46, uh, 47 yard line. What will be first and 10 for the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Already this defense is off to a great start. It's 7:51 left to go in the first half in the first quarter. Notre Dame so far is looking They're very aggressive. The play to hold against the Irish. And we have a penalty on the play. It's a holding penalty against the Irish. That'll put him back another 10 yards. So they'll still have really relatively good field position to score, uh, uh, to score here. So it'll be first and 10 for the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. And they'll be starting roughly around the 38 yard line. Where it'll be first and, and ten for the Cardinals. The back at the Irish 39 yard line. Jake Renda will take Jake Renda. Notre Dame has it first and ten. Jake Renda, the court um Williams Cortez again. Cortez will be the running back again. Quick snap. Is it a fake now to Oh, it's a fake now. It was a uh, a fake by number 36. Uh, that was snapped to uh, Sp Sp Ricky Sproul, Ricky Sproul the ball carrier, who took the snap, and he was tackled for a loss of 
one, uh, one and a half yard. Loses the y yard. That was Gabe Mitchell White who took the who took him down back for two yards. It'll be second down and 11 now for the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. So here's Renda. Renda will have it off to Cortez. And Cortez is going to break out of a couple tackles, but he's not going to get far. And he gets roughly around the 30. Um, Cortez Williams on the carry for the Irish. Cortez Williams on the carry. He gets uh, roughly around the 39 yard line. So it'll be first in, so it'll be around roughly around. They'll need about nine yards here, and I'm expecting Renda to throw here. So they're expecting all out blitz for this Cardinals offense. You really got to be. So it'll be at the 39 yard line. The Cardinals, it'll be third down. So, every, so third and 10 for the Irish. Expect to throw. You want to go one on one coverage right here. Double coverage, uh, double coverage, Leon Jones. But watch the slant routes. And they got a man wide open in the middle of the field. Renda looking. Renda going to take the snap, and he's going to get the first down. And he gets the first down. So no one was there. And Jake Renda takes a scramble. And he gets it roughly around 10 yards. It'll be first and 10 for the uh, Irish. And it'll be around the 49-yard line for the no, Fighting Irish. So a great hustle by, by Jake Renda. You know, no one was there. The Cardinals did a great job pressing up there. Blitz was coming all the way to the left. Renda comes. Takes a little off to the left. The all line makes a hole for him. Heads left and makes and picks up 10 yards and keeps the goal going. So it'll be second, first and 10 again for Jake Renda. And we got a flag on the play. It'll be a false start penalty for the Fighting Irish, I believe. So it'll be five yards for the Fighting Irish. They, Irish. Oh no, my They're apologies. First. It'll be a timeout for the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Six nothing here. Six twenty nine left to go in the first half in the first quarter of this game. Notre Dame is up by six points, and they have the ball driving at the forty nine yard line. This is Comcast Channel Seventeen, Verizon 37, thirty seven, LTBS Rewind Sports Hire, the announcer, LTBS TV. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTBS TV. All right, so first and ten after the timeout for Notre Dame. It'll be first and it'll be for. It'll be, for, it'll be first and 10 for the no, no, Fighting Irish. Jake Renda takes his pass to Williams. Williams, uh, Williams scrambles, and he gets around three yards. Takes around two yards. Arthur Stubbs, on the stop Arthur the Stubbs makes the tackle there. So good run again. And this is what, you know, high school football, a lot of running plays, college football, you got a lot of running plays in there. You want to run, uh, I'd say, second down, first and two. First and, ten, uh, first and second down, then you want to see what you have there. And then third down is really when they throw. So always blitz there. Uh, a lot of running, though. So Renda will look like he'll be uh, uh, alone here. Now puts 36 in the shotgun. Renda takes a snap himself, and he goes all the way down the sideline. He's still going, and he gets taken out of bounds roughly around the third yard line. That was Dion McLean who shoved him out of bounds. What a run by Jake, Rendell, Jake Renda. Keeper for the Irish. It'll be first in. It'll be first in. It'll be first in ten. So again, great job by uh, Jake Renda. He puts. Good hustle by Jake Renda. He calls up Spring, Sproles in the first shotgun. Calls Sproles up in the shotgun, fakes the hand off of it, and takes the snap himself. QB draw, and then rushes all the way down the timeline. The Cardinals were not expecting that. So it'll be first in ten, roughly around the 13-yard line for Jake Renda. Jake Renda takes a handoff and it does to Cortez Williams. Williams up the sideline and Williams is going to take it all the way in the end zone. And he'll be. He will take it all the way inside the five yard line, roughly down the one yard line. So an incredible job by Williams. Great play. The O line, this Notre Dame O line, I'm telling you, this is the key factor of this game. They control this game today and they are controlling how this offense goes. So far, run offense, an amazing job. They've been able to uh, control the offense here as Cortez Williams goes up the sideline near the one yard line. So here we go, first and 10 once more. Clock continuing to run. We got five minutes and 10 seconds left to go in the game. Jake Renda takes a snap, gives it off to Williams. Williams scores, touchdown, Notre Dame. Williams from the one yard line. And as you can see Williams there. Williams, the ball carrier for the Irish. So it'll be 12 to zero right now. Let's see what the co let's see what um 
Let's see what Jennings will. Uh, let's see what Clancy would like to do. He want go call on the extra. Here's Christophus for the extra point. Sean Mulligan. Sean Mulligan will take the hold. 5:04 left to go in the game. By the way. Here's the snap, and it is up in the air, and it is good. 13 nothing. Laura, Notre Dame to scores, goes down the field on their second possession and scores a touchdown. 13 nothing. Left to five minutes and four seconds left to go in the first quarter of this half. It is the Lawrence Cardinals versus the Notre Dame Fighting Irish here on LTBS TV, Comcast Channel, Comcast Channel 19, Verizon 37, and LTBS Rerun. Sports out here announcing. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTBS TV. And here we have the Lawrence cheerleaders for the Lawrence Cardinals. And let's give it up for the Cardinal cheerleaders as they are trying to help them out. So Notre Dame, an impressive job start here. His own line absolutely doing an incredible job controlling this game. And Notre Dame and Lawrence has to respond now. They only had th after a quick three and out. Let's see what head coach Radis has left in the gut bag. Here's the kickoff by George Crescivis. And it'll be Mitchell White who takes it. And he'll take it for a fair catch. Lawrence will be have it first and ten at the 20-yard line. First and ten at the 20-yard line. So Lawrence really needs to get a bit of a throwing in the ball. I know Dion McLean isn't a thrower, but if you want to beat these Fighting Irish today, you really got to throw the ball here. This D-line knows how to stop the run. They've done it twice against Allentown. They've done it twice. They've done it twice. They wanted it against Allentown and definitely against Ewing. And if this team wants to beat the Fighting Irish today, they got to throw the ball down the field. That is how the key factors of winning this game. Go to all line and getting the ball down the field to your star wide receivers, especially Kareem Frost, star wide receiver. So here's a snap by Dion McLean, opening snap. He'll go up the sideline and he'll get up for about a two, two, three yard gain. Dion McLean, the ball carrier for the Irish. And that's really, and you can't keep doing the same plays over and over again. So far, this Lawrence offense, only thing they've been doing is rushing up the field constantly, constantly to the two yard line. Yeah, two yard lines, couple down. And that's really what you can't be doing here if you want to beat the, uh, the Fighting Irish today. You got you to gotta throw the ball down the field. That is, again, the key factors. Rushing the ball, again, this, I'm telling you, this Notre Dame D-line, that's how they're going to stop him here. So first down and 10. Second down and 10 is another running play. Off the middle, and it'll be uh, roughly around the five yard line. It'll be third and five. Gabe Mitchell White, the Gabe Mitchell White with his uh, so so far Gabe Mitchell White, Dion McLean. Third down and five. You can run the ball at this point. You got a lot of options here. Third and five. Just try not to get a, uh, a penalty here. Four minute, roughly. Four, clock winding down. We got about four minutes left to go before this half, before the first quarter is in the books. An impressive start for the no, the Fighting Irish so far as they scored 13 points so far in this first half. So first down and 10, Dion McLean takes a snap and he gives it off to Gable White. Gable, Gable White trips and it'll set up some fourth and down. So here in coming the punting unit. As I mean, I mean, I mean, Diesel at that point, oh, that was Diesel Barnes who carried the ball. Diesel Barnes up by Ryan and he got tripped up by Ryan McCabe. Ryan McCabe did an incredible job yeah, taking him down, down and it'll be fourth down and 10. So great uh, uh, read by Ryan McCabe, able to trip him down. Um, at that point, I thought just the call was a little off by both this team. So Ben Cohen will punt it away. And here's the punt by Cohen as he goes up down the five line. And will come Sproul, R Ricky, roughly well, around the 50-yard line. 2.51 left to go in the first half. The Irish will take over. So, Notre, so the Irish is now. Now, so far for what this Irish has been doing, and what's been, really been clicking, is they've been running the ball to Cortez Williams. Lawrence defense has got to stop him and read the plays, all right? Jake Renda, I expect, have a, have a safety on Jake Renda, all right? So you get a safety on Renda. You need a safety on Renda, and you need someone, and you need two guys on him. Also, Leon Jones, both key factors to watch here. Then, 
And for Notre Dame, they got to keep an eye on Dion McClain because you don't know where he's going to be on the field. He can do anything. You got to watch out for him. So here's Renda. Renda takes a snap off to Cole Williams. Cole Williams goes down the field and he's near first down. What a play by Cole Williams and Gabe Mitchell White and Dion McClain take him down. The two star defensive players. So Cole Williams takes it all the way up down the field. And he's down near the, around the second down yard line. Mitchell White on the stop for the punt. Eight of eight, second and two. So it'll be second and two. Jay Grenda takes it off to Cortez Williams. Cortez Williams goes up the field and he goes all the way down to the 32 yard line. An amazing play, Cortez Gamer. Williams, the ball and he goes and he goes up down the field for a gain of about 12 yards. He gains a gain of the 12 yard Irish. line. So the Notre Dame Fighting Irish will take it up down to the 12 yard line. It'll be first and 10. For the Notre Dame Fighting Irish here. Jake Runda will take the snap. Williams is in the backfield. Williams up the field and he gets a gain of about eight yards. Uh, get eight or seven yards, roughly 30. around eight or seven yards. Uh, the Cardinal 28 yard line. So it'll be off to the 20 Cardinal 28 yard line. Uh, gain of about uh, gain of about five yards. That was that play. So it'll be and six, second and four. Second and four now for the the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. One minute and 30 seconds left to go in the play. It's a snap by Jake Renda. Jake Renda takes a snap to Cole Williams. Cole Williams heading down the sideline and he's taken down by. Still going, taken down by Kareem Frost. Kareem Frost and Gabe Mitchell White. Double tackle there. Station inside the 25, down to the Lawrence 21 yard line. Good finish. First and 10 for the ice. As Williams, the ball carrier. Picked up by number 33, Matt Kilday. All right, Matt Kilday makes it in great stop. Sorry about that play. Um, I got difficulties. Play, second and 10. Second and 10 now, so good play by Matt Kilday. Able to read the offense, and finally they're stopping, able to stop the run now. There's a play now. Jake Renda in trouble. And Jake Renda going to go all the way. And he can't get back to the line of scrimmage. And he'll be taken down in 12 now. Jake Renda on the keeper for the yard. Lost the three on the play. Lost the three yards on the play. And to bring up by third and 13 for the Irish. That's the end of the first quarter, ladies and gentlemen. It'll be the end of the first quarter. 13 nothing. So that'll do it here after the play by Jake Renda. It's 13 nothing. The Notre Dame Fighting Irish driving down the field, and they will. And it'll be 13 nothing. And you are watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV with support tire announcing Comcast Channel 19, Friday 37, and LTPS Rewind. Cardinal Sports Network here on LPBS TV. Start of the second quarter now. Jake Renda will take the snap. I mean, the, the Fighting Irish. Cortez Williams goes up down the field and he's not going to be stopped. Touchdown, Notre Dame! 20 yards up down the field and Notre Dame 
scores again. 20 nothing. I mean, 20 not, uh, 20, 19 nothing. Notre Dame. Cortez Williams, the ball carrier for an Irish. Cortez touchdown. Williams goes down the field and scores a touchdown. George Christopher's on for the extra point. is 10th out of the hold of Sean Mulligan. This is Chris's kick is up and it's good. So George Christmas's case is up and it's good. It's 20 nothing now. And the Lawrence Cardinals have to respond now. The Cardinals zero. Well, let's see what the Cardinals can do to respond here. As it is uh 11.53 left to go in the first half. Notre Dame so far has rushed the ball. All they've done is rush and barely pass. All Lawrence has to do is they gotta find a way to watch the pass and be able to stop him there. So it'll be first and so now the Cardinals will receive the ball after and the play. By your 50, Jake 50, Renda 50, now takes the play. Sale right now you can get one for a dollar, you can get six for five or 15 of them for $10. Thank you for your support of the Lawrence High School marching band. George Christophus has it teed up for the so Irish and it's set to kick. Alright, here's the kick now for the the uh, Cardinals and it is taken out of the end zone for a first time. So Touchback for the Cardinals by George Christmas. So they'll begin at the 20 yard line. It'll be first and 10 for the Lawrence Cardinals. Thanks <clears throat> be sure and welcome back Lawrence the Cardinal here tonight. So it'll be first and 10 now for the Lawrence Cardinals. First and 10 now for the Lawrence Cardinals as they head down the field. I mean, first and 10 now for the Lawrence Cardinals. Dion McLean takes a snap and it's up down the field. Up, sorry, not up down the field, that's a crazy turn. Dion McLean gives it off to Gabe Mitchell White. It'll be, or Diesel Barnes, it'll be a gain of two yards. Off the Diesel, Barnes, the ball Diesel Barnes takes the, the play. Up for about two to three, uh, two yards there. So all Lawrence has done so far is rush the ball. Line. It'll be second and six for the Cardinals. So it'll be first and ten for the Lawrence Cardinals. I mean, second down and two for the Lawrence Cardinals. And here's the snap, and it is taken off uh, to the back to the line of scrimmage, where it'll be third Lance down. Lopez on the carry. Lawrence Lopez takes the carry. Doesn't go far. Lost the four, leads third and ten for the Cardinals. So it'll be third down and 10 now for the Lawrence Cardinals. As they cannot get anything there. And I'm telling the Cardinals again, passing the ball is what you want to do here. Okay, they're expecting run. They're going to go all out blitz. Deion McLean's got to go off to the left and find a receiver right open. Probably Kareem Foss. Kareem Foss can go down the field and get open anywhere. Okay, stop rushing the ball. Lawrence Cardinals, that's what they got to do. They cannot rush the ball again. There we go. Deion McLean slides left. Deion McLean now gets taken down for a sack. 
He is taken down, and that is number 46 of the Fighting Irish. He is taken down by David, David with the sack Evan the Quick. Takes him down. It's the Cardinals back on the own 16 yard line. Brings up a fourth down. And it'll be yet another punt. The third, third and out today. Here's the punt by Ben Cohen up down the field. It'll be up down the up the field, and it'll be around the 40-yard line, giving Cohen's Notre Dame good so possession. At the Lawrence 41-yard line. It'll be at the Notre Lawrence 41-yard line. Will it be first first and ten for the Fighting ten. Irish here? So here's the play by Jake Renda, and he takes it off to court to Willie uh, to number 36, and he goes all the way down the sideline. Ricky Sprill goes all the way down to the 10-yard line. That's a 30-yard run by Ricky Sprill. What of a heck of a run! Ricky on the carry for the Irish. And it'll be a 30-yard gain. What a play by Ricky Sprill. Okay, it'll set him up around first and goal. Deion McClain. It'll, and Deion McClain, again, he goes everywhere on the field. The Deion McClain takes him out the, the field. At the Cardinal nine yard line. It's first Rushing the ball is what you want to do here if you're the Cardinals offense. Obviously, 9.05 left to go in the first half of this, ha of this game. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS-TV. All right, so now we will begin again. It'll be first and 10 for the Fighting Irish after the timeout. Here's Cortez Williams up down the, I mean, that's Ricky, uh, Cortez Williams, oh. That was Ricky Sprill, I believe. And it is a touchdown, Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Ricky Sprill with his first touchdown of the game. And that is the Notre Dame's fourth, fourth touchdown today. Touchdown Notre Dame. And already this offense has been so explosive and absolutely crazy. And they already have four touchdowns right now. And it'll be the extra point by George Christophus. George Christophus on for the extra point. And the hold is Sean Mulligan. Sean Mulligan take it down. Here's the kick and it's up the field and it is good. 27 nothing. Notre Dame with the lead here. 857 left to half. 857 left to go in halftime. So Bortai here announcing Comcast Channel 13, Verizon 9. So already this fighting Irish, all they've done is quite simple. If I was head coach Radis, Amarada, defensive coordinator, what you gotta do now is there's only been three key, four or five key players in this Notre Dame scheme right now. And you gotta keep your eyes on them. Cortez Williams has been rushing the ball phenomenally. Ricky Sprill, you don't know when he's gonna break free. Jake Renda, he's elusive, he's a great quarterback. He might go to the NFL, who knows. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. All right, so after the play now, Three key players, 8.57 left to go in the game. Here's the kick by Chris Office. Here's the kick by Chris Office. The opening kick and it goes way down the field. For Gay Mitchell White and he's gonna do a touchback. Touchback for Lawrence. So it'll be first and 10 at the 20 yard line for the Lawrence Cardinals. First and 10 on their own, 20 yard line. So it'll be first and 10 at the own 20 yard line for the Lawrence Cardinals here. All right, so, so far Lawrence has not been able to get too much on the field here. All they've done is rush. Now, noted, now for Notre Dame, it, rushing is fun. It's perfect, it's beautiful. That's all you gotta do right now. That's all Notre Dame's been able to do. And we got a flag, and it is a timeout by the Fighting Irish. It'll be first and 10. Timeout, timeout called. Cardinals. 
their second. Second timeout for the Cardinals, first and 10. When we come back. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. We resume play now. First and ten for the Lawrence Cardinals here. First and ten for the Cardinals. All nothing but pass here. And it'll be another running play for Dion McLean. And Dion McLean goes all the way up down the field. Uh, goes up the field and it'll be a gain of about four, four yards Next here. That goes to Dion McLean. Good snap four. here for Dion McLean. Gain of only four yards here. It is second and six. Second and six when we come back. Second and six. First down and ten now. First, second and six for the Cardinals. Gain of four yards. Dion McLean now will take uh, under center. Stop Dion McLean. Here's the draw now by Mitchell White. And Mitchell White takes, I mean, uh, Mitchell White goes up, down. Mitchell White, uh, about nothing, uh, no game. Mitchell White, the ball carrier. Mitchell White takes the Cardinal. carry. Third down and six. Brings it up across the 25. So now it'll be second, third and three now for the Cardinals. Only need three yards here for Dion McLean. Dion McLean takes a snap off to Mitchell White and here comes the Lawrence, I mean the Fighting Irish and they take him down and loss of two yards there. What a great read by this Notre Dame offense and they take two yards. Two yard gain, two yard loss there. I mean no, no, no gain there, excuse me. As the Notre Dame Fighting Irish O-line eats them up and it'll be fourth and five. Gain loss of two yards there. Philip McCall on the carry for the Cardinals. Third of the first down. I'll bring up fourth down for the so, Cardinals. Paul takes ben it then. Cohen. And it'll be a punt now for Ben Cohen. 6 12 left to go. 6 10. As we got about 6 10 left to go. There's the punt by Ben Cohen. Ben Cohen up the field. A little bit of a skid punt there. And it goes all the way down to the 50 yard so line. 49 yard line. They'll make it at the 49 yard line. 49 yard line. It'll be first Where and 10. Take over first and 10. It'll be first and 10 at the 49 yard line. The car, uh, Fighting Irish has scored uh, plenty of times in this play. Keepers to look out for, of course, the quarterback Jake Renda, Cortez Williams, Ricky Spiro, Leon Jones, and Corey Williams. All uh, fa uh, factors of the game today. So here's 6 on one left to play, first and 10 now for the for the Fighting Irish. Renda with the snap, gives it off, and he fakes the handoff, and Williams, and Renda takes it out, spin move, all the way down the sideline, and he gets it, a flag is on the play, as Renda takes it all the way to the 12-yard line. But we got a penalty marker on the play. It's gonna be a holding penalty on the Fighting Irish. And it'll be first and 20 now. And sometimes, you know, you do a great job like that. Sometimes, you know, they catch you in the hold. So Renda will actually be heading to the sideline, maybe make a quick play there. There. Spot the ball back at the Notre Dame 41 yard line. Ah, Paul. It'll be first and 20 now for the other. First and 20 now from the four. From the 41 yard line. There's the snap by Renda. Renda looking, firing downfield, and it is incomplete. He was looking for Corey Williams. Corey Williams, it goes incomplete. Great coverage by there, just couldn't get him in time. So it'll be second down and 10, second down and 20. Let's see if the Cardinals can get a stop. And then it'll be huge now if the Cardinals can able to stop him here. 
And finally, they made force Renner to throw. That's a great play. Now you got to be able to stop three running backs and get the ball back for your offense. They're in a bit of a hole right here, but there's still plenty of football left to play in this one as the score is 21 to 27 nothing. So plenty of football to play here in this game. And here's the play now. It'll be a running play. And he gets, and he can't go. Christian Sproul, excuse me. Christian Sproul now goes over the sideline. It'll be a gain. Stop by number seven. And they're going to one yard line. And he gets a gain. And I'm being run for no gain. Third and 20. Have your guys back deep now, all right? They're good. Renda's going to throw, all right? He, as elusive as Jake Renda is, he won't be able to get that far. You need to have your D-line, have one guy, safety up down the field to take Renda down, okay? And you need your players back deep down the field, all right? Can't let anyone get over here. Renda can throw far, though. He can throw very far. So you got to watch out for Corey Williams and Leon Jones. Here's the pass now. Here's Cortez Williams. Williams goes up down the field. Williams still going down the sideline, and he's still going all the way. Ricky Sproul, what a play. The O-line to the snap, and he goes all the way down to the 10-yard line. What a play by Ricky Sproul. And that was just heck of a play by Ricky Sproul. He able to wild card offense. All the, puts the O-line off to the left. Great screen play, and a great play by the Notre Dame Fighting Irish as they head all the way down to the to the to the 13 yard line. It'll be now a touchdown. It'll be second, it'll be first and ten now from the 13 yard line for Jake Renda. Jake Renda takes the snap, gives it off to he takes it himself. Williams in the end zone, touchdown! Notre Dame, the fifth touchdown of the game. Jake Grenda takes the draw for 13 yards and scores a touchdown. Notre Dame. Oh my God, I'm losing. Or a Notre Dame score. I'll air slip it. I don't have my water with me. George Christophus on for the extra point. It's sent out of the hold of Sean Mulligan. And here's Christophus who will now take the extra point for the Fighting Irish. Here's the kick up in the air and it is good! Christophus' kick is up and good. 34 nothing. the Fighting Irish has a dot and, and with the command good. with a nice lead over the Cardinals. Four thirty-three left to go in the first half of this ball game. No score yet. Here's the kick down the field, and it'll be Mitchell White who now takes the snap. It's a wide, I mean, 23. Christmas Meyer Claire. Taken by number 23, Meyer Clay. Meyer Claire takes the snap. Clay brings it up about across 10 yards. the 20. Across the 25. The Cardinals 28 yard line. So Lawrence has it, first and 10. <laughs> First down and 10 now for the Fighting Irish. It's like now. Nah. Here's a snap now by Laura, uh, by Dion McCl by Dion McLean. Dion McLean heading left and he gets taken down off around the three yard line. Dion McLean, the ball carrier, brings it up across the 35. Brings it up across the 35 yard, the it'll be yard line. It'll be second down and 10, I believe. Second down and six, actually, or four. And second and two. Second and two, great game so far, largest game by Lawrence today. 
eight yards. So it'll be huge here if Lawrence can get something going here as the score is 34 and nothing. So let's see what Lawrence can do now. So far running the ball effectively, getting the O-line together, that's what you need right now. Here's the snap. Deion McLean takes it off and it is a running play to Diesel Barnes. Sorry, Lance, Lance Lopez. Lopez. Lance Lopez, Lopez excuse me. I apologize about that. Lance Lopez loses the three yards there, and now it'll be second. It'll be uh, loses about four yards there. So it'll be second down. It'll be third and two. Uh, third and uh, six now, or third and uh, five. Third and two. For the third and two, actually. So no, no. It looked like uh, they pushed it up, but forward progress was stopped around the three, two yard line. So it'll be third and two. Now, if you're Lawrence now, play action here. They're expecting you to run. Notre Dame is expecting you to run. Play action, go corner to the left, and throw, make a nice play. Got to get something going here. Notre Dame is not stopping here. Their offense is steam powered. Only thing, the way to start now is you get some points on the board. Get a first down. McLean in trouble. McLean rushing. McLean take it down. Yeah, the playing the ball, Karen. He is sacked for a loss. That was number 54, Andrew Bonder from the Fighting Irish who That's take the 37 yard line. From the 37 yard line, it'll be three minutes, four five seconds out. And the Cardinals are going for it. You're down 34 nothing. I like the call by, uh, aggressive call by Robert Raddis right now. It's 34 nothing. They need to play right now. It'll be third down and it'll be fourth and one. Fourth, fourth and one now. The fourth time. and one to left to go. Clock winding down, three minutes now. If you're in the, you got a QB sneak it, all right? This D-line is a very good D-line, probably one of the best in this state, and you gotta be able to run, run over them. And then we'll do a tie now for the Lawrence Cardinals. Second, 220, 30, 30 left to go in the first game. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. I'm okay, here we go. Fourth down and one. Left to go here. Dion McLean ready for the snap. Fourth and one. Here we go. QB sneak and he gets and it looks like still fourth on fourth down. And we're still waiting on the official. And it'll be Lawrence football! They get the first down! Deion McLean gets the yard! First down, Lawrence! So they have 22, under two minutes left to play in the game. It'll be first down and 10, 155, clock winding down now. The snap off to Dion McLean. Dion McLean looking, Dion McLean can't get anywhere. And he might have a for a yard or so, but the Notre Dame D-line able to read him. One minute and 35 seconds left to go in the first half. I mean, the first half, halftime is coming up. We will have the Red Scare halftime show right after this. The Notre Dame cart, Notre Dame is leading with a score of 34 to nothing. So it'll be first and 10. Fifty-two, fifty-one, And here's the double reverse offense and it is a snap and it'll take it by Lance Lopez. He gets a gain of eight yards. Matt Kilday, excuse me. Matt Kilday, the amazing player himself. Uh, 45. Clock is winding down here. You need to go no huddle right now. 30 seconds left. Try getting in field goal range. Ben Cohen's career long is around about a 42 yard line. Matthew Kilday, an impressive player on this team. All right, 22 seconds left. We're getting, we might need a Hail Mary or so. Final play for this Cardinals offense. 14, 13, 10, 9, 10, 9. We're going to get one more play before this is on the half. 6, 5, 4, 
Three, two, one, here's Dion McClain, takes a snap, hands it off to Lance Lopez, and he gets bubbled down by Corey Williams, takes down, and that'll do it for the halftime. It's 34-0, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish has the lead. Lawrence will receive the open second half kickoff, 34-0. Lawrence, we will have a halftime show by Red Scare. This is Comcast Channel 19, Verizon 37. LTBS Rewind, Support Tire, your lead announcer, lead, uh, lead announcer, LTBS TV. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTBS TV. Watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTBS TV. Ladies and gentlemen, the Lawrence Township Public School District is proud to present the 2019 Lawrence High School Marching Cardinal Band. This year's show is entitled Immortal. Original music by Frank Sullivan, drill design by Mitchell Stoneman, choreography by Andrew Meyer and Alice Polsky. Directors are Michael Grobish and Kate Cloud. Student leadership includes Victoria Chen, Sari Jane, Antonio Magajas, Josh Vondragon, and Matt Shapiro. Under the field direction of senior drum major Hope Perry. We enjoy, we hope you enjoy our presentation of Immortal.
You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. Cardinal set to receive the second hand kickoff. George Christophus has it teed up for the Irish and is set to kick deep. by number two, Dave Mitchell White for the Cardinals. He brings it up to the Lawrence 21-yard line. Where the Cardinals start, first and ten. First and ten for the Fighting Irish. and 10 here for the Lawrence Cardinals. There'll be a snap off to Lance Lopez. Dante Bastien, the ball carrier for the Cardinals. Apologies, Dante. Takes it to the Lawrence 30 yard line. Gain of nine, it'll be second and one. All the way off. Andre Soto, the ball carrier for lunch. Ball off to Lance Lopez. Off the 30 to the Lawrence 32 yard line. Good enough for a Cardinals. It'll be another first down for the Cardinals. What's up, Mark? Apologies. All right, here's the snap to Lance uh, Lopez Jr. And he takes it all the way down to the sec two yard line. Lance Matt, Lopez, correct? the ball carrier Matt? for Lawrence. Uh, takes I just it want up to the 33 yard line. Pretty good. Yeah. I know it's not for CBS stuff, but you know, I'm trying to do my best. All right, back to the game, everyone. I do. Uh, all right, so. Sorry about that. Anyways. It was a great first out, and again, these Cardinals, so far in the end of the second half, they were doing a great job of running down the field. Now, what you got to do for the Lawrence Cardinals is you got to score quick. You got to score fast and quick, and you got to get the Notre Dame thing off the field. All right, they're not beat. They're not unbeatable. Okay, I mean, I know it looks very hard because they're they got all they're crazy, they're monsters, they're juggernauts, but doesn't mean that they're unbeatable. They are beatable just because you're losing 34 nothing does not mean you can lose. So here's what you got to do. First, you got to go around the field. Now, Dion McClain did a great job, second out of nine. You want to now take another nice nap. All right, so Dion McClain going to rush it here. Takes the rush, and he goes down for two yards. A loss. That's not what you want to do here. Now, what you got to do is you need to throw the ball. Dion McClain's got a head left. All right, watch the two safeties. They're going to head back to you for Kareem Hemsley. You need to go middle of the field, find your open receiver, and that's what you're looking for. Now, when you go back to them, again, with the rushing offense of Notre Dame, all they have is three. These guys are big juggernauts. I'm not saying they're like Saquon Barkley, Le'Veon oh, Bell. You know it. They're like big hard. backs, untackleable. But here's what you got to do is you got to take down 12. these backs that are like Saquon Barkley, okay? They, are, they can be tackled. You got to watch out for Jake Renda. Jake Renda is like Lamar Jackson, very elusive, all right? Very elusive player. What you have to do is you need to read the plays. Jake Renda, he's a very flexible player. You need to watch him there too. So right now on offense, so Lawrence is gonna make the better on the first down here. It'll be third and long here, third and 12. 
Lawrence has got to throw now. Deion McLean has not had a pass attempt at all today. Let's see if he gets one. And here's the pass off to Lance Lopez Jr. And he won't get far, and it'll be a gain of six yards. Okay, offense is... And the D-line. All right, that's okay. The key player is now punting the ball away for Jen. Key players for the Lawrence defense. Look, obviously, Deion McLean. These are all yards. incredible players. But you need to be careful now. The five players that have done an absolute incredible Four job today have been Jake Rend um have been um key players for the no the Notre Dame Fighting Irish today has been uh, Leon Jones uh, uh, Leon Jones Jake Renda uh, Cardo uh, uh, William um, uh, Cortez Williams they're all been key players all have been amazing today they've all done an amazing job today uh, I love the way this Notre Dame offense is playing. They're really clicking oh, well. Uh, they did put up 34 Down points today. It is not a hot, it is not a season long yet. A season long is against 42. Like I'd say another touchdown, two point conversion. We have a season long. Actually, no, two more touchdowns. We have a season. We have a. Uh, the season long is against Ewing, 55 points. An incredible job, uh, so far. So Jake Renda is a, like Lamar Jackson. I'm telling you, this guy, Alabama. Everyone should be looking at him right now, possibly. Right, he'll go to Rutgers though and be playing up against uh, John Harbaugh's defense, which is going to be tough. Let's see what Jake Renda could do now. Jake Renda has two set racks in the motion. Now it takes Corey Williams. Corey Williams now takes a snap. He heads down the field, and he goes all the way to the five-yard line, taken down by the Cardinals' defense. He gets a gain about six yards. Great play by Jake Renda. He takes a snap, shotgun formation, takes a... Uh, Snaps it off all the way left towards um, Corey Williams. And Corey Williams is a wide receiver. They take him out of the hold, and they pitch him to him, and he gets a, gain, a decent game of eight yards. And that's the great thing about this O-line. Again, this Cardinal O-line, I mean, this Notre Dame O-line is so good. O-lines is what control this game. O-lines control how long your quarterback has, and O-lines control how long your running back can go, and they control how much time your quarterback can have. And we got a plenty of flag on the play. Not too many plenty of flags today. The false start on the Irish. It'll be a false start off of the Notre Dame. That's been the only penalties we have today. False starts. Other than that, it's been a relatively clean game so far. That's what you want to see. Not too many penalties, as opposed to that Titans versus Jaguars game last night. Plenty of penalties. Very penalty field. All right, so it'll be second down and eight. Uh, still uh, second and manageable, I would say. You would want like two, two, three yards here um, on the rushing play. So second down and eight. The Cardinals are gonna, Corey Williams in the back. Jake Renda takes a snap. He gives it off to Corey Williams. Corey Williams just pushed back, goes back up the field, stays on his feet, and now throwing to the whole defense, and he goes all the way to the 35 yard line. What a play by Corey Williams. And that's the type of play I've seen Saquon play many times in the NFL. Cole he goes Williams through one hole, nope. Heads all the way back, he turns left, finds an opening, and heads all the way down the field to a great play. What a play by Corey. William, uh, by Corey Williams. An amazing job just finding the holes, what you're going to do, and not a lot of RPs, not a lot of running backs can go back and find the holes what they're looking for. An impressive play by uh, Corey Williams, and it sets some a new player down. Second down and uh, first and 10 again. Here is, here is, wow, what a play by number. Cortez Williams, the ball Cortez Williams back again with the ball. And you know, at first, and th this guy is just so hard to bring down. Again, say like Saquon, all right? He's gonna be a big back one day, maybe in the NFL. But he did a great job, able to, you know, not been taken down. At first, the Cardinals got a contact on him around the eight or seven yard line. You're thinking a short game. Corey Williams like, nope, I'm gonna get more yards. Uh, Car uh, Williams gets more yards and a great job by, uh, a great job by, by Cortez Williams. Two Williams on the team now. And there's a snap, and it is yeah, now a... And it'll be passes complete to Christian Sproles. It'll be a gain of uh, third... Now it'll be third and short. Now, if you're the Cardinals, you need to put blitz motion here. Block everyone, okay? Keep your eye on Sproles, Corey Williams, Leon Jones. Leon Jones hasn't been too much. He caught a 40-yard touchdown. That's pretty and dangerous. Watch Jake Renda. Have a safety on Jake Renda. That's how you're going to stop him right here. Middle of the field is where they're going to go. So they take the snap off to Corey Williams, and he goes all the way down the field. And that's what they this Notre Dame offense is doing so well. 
and the Lawrence Go are being fooled. What happens is, you know, you have wide receivers. Any wide receiver here can play running back right now. Anyone could get two to, 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 you know, 10 yards here. An amazing job by him. The Cardinals now for a minute touchdown to even keep themselves in this game. It's 34 0. A very time consuming drive, and that's another thing you want to do in the NFL. You need to play defense, you need to score points, and you need to milk the clock. And that is what Notre Dame has done today. They have not allowed a all shutout all season. They're pitching one now. Pitching a shutout right now. That's what this team is doing so amazing at. Is they're able to milk the clock. And you know, you have Corey Williams and all that, get big plays down the field. And this defense has just been incredible. And now here's Jake Renda with the snap. And he goes all the way down to the seven yard, uh, around to the, uh, tw thir uh, what is it, 23 yard line, eight of eight yards. Jake Renda so Jake Renda, you know, that's what you want. Stop you want a quarterback who can be Isaiah mobile, not like Tom Brady, you know people like that that just know how to throw in the pocket you want people that can be elusive like Lamar Jackson that's why they're so good it's because they can be elusive you don't know if they, they can either throw the ball they can beat you at throwing the ball they can beat you at running the ball either way they're gonna beat you and this is what Jake Renner's been doing he's been doing an absolute phenomenal job able to fool the whole defense so here's the name again Corey Williams this is um Sproles Sproles turn the field and he's gonna score touchdown Notre Dame, Christian Sproles up the field and scores another touchdown. That is the sixth touchdown for Notre Dame today. What a play by Christian Sproles. Christian Sproles is first going to head up field as you watch the replay. He's going to head up field a little bit and he's going to go for the hole. Nope, he turns around, finds an opening and scores a touchdown for Notre Dame. And they now have a 40-0 lead. And they'll take an extra point to make it a 41 to try and make it 41 nothing. So here's the extra point now for Christopher. For the extra point attempt down of the hold of Sean Mulligan. Yes. Here's the snap and it is kicked and it is good. 41 nothing. The Fighting Irish beat it. Uh, 41 nothing. Uh, fighting Irish. Lawrence Cardinals. This is Comcast Channel 19. Verizon 37. Verizon 37. Or LTPS Rewind, Sports Hire, LTPS Rewind, Cardinal Sports Network. You're watching. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. Yeah, Basketball, were you, were you any, uh, were you good? The were you really good? Get any uh, offers? I actually got an offer for TCMJ, but I don't want to play. Uh, yeah, some of those people don't want to play the sports. All right, here we go. Here's the kick now for Notre Dame. Lawrence is looking. Here's Chris Avis. Off his kick, up down the field, um, up the field, and it'll be a, it'll nope, it'll be a touchback for Notre, for Lawrence, where it'll be 41 nothing, and the clock winding it down now. For a touchback for the Cardinals, so they'll start first and ten from their own 20-yard line. Here's a snap by Deion McClain, takes it off to Diesel Bourne. Lance Lopez on the carry. Lance Lopez on the carry. The Cardinals. In about five yards. No gain on the play, and I bring up second. Sorry, game. I terribly sorry. That was a gain of no yards there. Clock winding down, still no plays yet. I think you really got to, all right, you're down 41 nothing. You got to try a lot of plays here. Not too much throwing, if not any throwing at all today. Deion McClain, not much of a thrower, so you got to try. Try throwing the ball. We got a penalty, uh, we got a... Timeout Cardinals. Timeout Cardinals. They're first. They're first. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. Lawrence tries to go shoot. Here's a snap now off to off to Lance Rope. Oh, 
Thanks, Lopez. Thanks, Lopez again. What the play? A gain of a few yards. It'll be third down and ten now. And a nine on the play. It'll be third and one for the Cardinals. And there's a QB sneak. And waiting on the call. Looks like he'll get the first down. So a new set of downs for Lawrence. Good enough for a Cardinals. First down. We might get one more play before this half is all in the, before this third quarter is in the books. We'll have one more left before this game is over. So that'll do it for the first third quarter. Lawrence, 41 nothing. Uh, sorry. Fighting Irish 41-0. That's the end of the third quarter. We got 15 more minutes before this game is in the books. Cardinals, yeah. 41-0. 41-0. Fighting Irish up. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. First and ten for the Cardinals to begin the fourth quarter. All right, we'll begin the fourth quarter. It'll be first and 10 for the Cardinals. Here's Dion McClain takes a snap, and he goes down the field, and he uh, goes uh, up the, up the field. Quarterback, quarterback sneak, it'll be a gain of two yards. Let's see the Cardinals 32-yard line. First and ten now, here we go, here's the running back play. And so far, and I think really what happened today for Lawrence is, what really happened today for Lawrence is you had you didn't have your starting quarterback, and I know plenty of teams that don't know how to function without their quarterbacks. You look at, I mean, you look at the team, you look at the New Orleans Saints right now, they're not doing very well with their starting quarterback. They don't know what's going on, Teddy Bridgewater. You look at teams like um, you look at teams like you know you look at the teams like the Steelers. They're not doing so well. You look at teams like um, you know, you, even the Packers. None of them are doing well right now. So really, it's not like so really you can't do much right now. The Packers aren't doing very well. You know, so you can't do good without your without your squad doing well. Here's the snap now, Dion McLean. And he gets to, and he hands it off to, hand it off to to uh, the Lance Lopez. And oh my goodness, Lance what in? All right, I do apologize. Things are getting rowdy in the sidelines area. I do apologize. Back to the game. Lance Lopez heads it all the way down to the two yard line. Ben Cohen back to punt. Ben Cohen will punt it away as the Cardinal, as the Fighting Irish will probably take it away. Ricky Spool back deep to the Irish. Here's the punt, and Ricky Sproles will take it back here. And he gets wrapped around, down. Punt taken by Ricky Sproles over the alley. Kareem Frost made the stop. Kareem one. Frost able to make the stop there. So great job. Kareem Frost is probably one of the best defensive uh, players on for Lawrence's team. 8.55 left to go in this opening, in this final quarter of this game. So far, it's been a very interesting game here. Here's a snap by Retta. Retta takes it himself. Retta goes up the field and he gets a rain of eight yards. And here are the Lawrence High School. Oh, never mind. Oh, close midfield. So here are the Lawrence High School cheerleaders. Great to see them. Always nice bringing up good cheer. All right. So now it's 8-16 left to go in this game. The Notre Dame has a 41 points 
left uh, 41 points, so they've done an amazing job here. Bum, bum, bum. Um. Okay. Mahi. All right, first down and ten. First down and ten. Here's the snap off to Williams, and he goes uh, first down. Sproles, the first down. Tori Leitner made the stop. All spotted at the Cardinals 43 yard line, first and 10 for the Irish. Now here's the pass by, here's the pass off to uh, Leon Jones. Arguing Mathis on the carry for no credit. We're going. Um, eight and three, second and seven. We're going. I'm going to eat after. Here's the play and a fumble. It's a fumble and Lawrence. Okay, Mathis again on the carry. I thought it was a fumble. Okay, no fumble. I do apologize. I thought it was a fumble. Look that way from this angle. I do apologize. No fumble here. It was just, uh, it's not reviewable. It doesn't matter. So, okay, no play. You see it tearing up. All right, here we go. Second down and... Second down and, and uh, 18. Here's the pass off. Number 10 now, and he gets off the slate, and oh, he drops it. A crushing play right there. Would have probably been a touchdown had he caught that. Sean Mulligan pass intended for number 15. Sean Mulligan had the pass. The falls incomplete. And it goes incomplete. I reckon you go home. You could. St well, we're going to. So, um, what word? Penalty marker on the field. And it'll be a penalty against the Irish. Penalty against the Irish and penalty against the Irish. Penalty against the Irish, and it'll be first and ten play. It'll be for third and six now for the Cardinals. Fourth and six. They're going to go for it, because why not? They're beating. Oh, I mean, they're winning, so, I mean, they can go for it, you know. Fourth and six. All right, here's the play now. 527 left to go in the game. Because work. Number three taking the handoff, and he's gonna go all the way first down. Notre Dame, what a play! RJ Mathis, the ball carrier. RJ Mathis heading down the field, seven yard gain. What a play by the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Oh wow, he left. Okay. Mathis takes it down to the Cardinals 31 yard line. It's first and 10 for the Irish. He been lost. Oh, come on. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, we do. Resuming the play. 
It'll be fourth and thir 35 left to go in the half. And it goes all the way to the uh, three yard line. John Mulligan on the quarterback keeper for the Irish. It's an inside the 10 yard line. You go. Cause we... Down to the Cardinals seven yard line. And now line. it go down all the way to the Cardinals seven yard line. It'll be first and goal um, for the Irish. We're fine. All right, well. Fourth and four minutes left to go in this game. Been a great game so far. I love what I saw, and here's the cheerleader. Here's a snap off to number 10. And the end zone, touchdown, Notre Dame. John Mulligan, the ball carrier. John Mulligan yeah, from five yards out and puts it in for the Notre Dame. <laughs> Notre Dame, what a play. 48 nothing, 47 nothing. I am. Go home. Um. Lord Chris a piss on for the extra point attempt out of the hole with John Morgan. Seven left in the fourth quarter. It's the Irish 47, the Cardinals 0. This has it teed up for the Irish and it's set to kick deep. Awesome. All right, so Notre Dame is still uh, in this game here. Now here's the kickoff by Notre Dame. Off to number 23, heading up the field. Lance Lopez. Still going up the field and all the way to the 45 yard line. There, play on the kickoff return. Takes the ball up to the Cardinals 29 yard line. Where Lawrence has it, first and ten. All right, so here's the snap now for no, uh, Lawrence and a one. That's the longest play today, and he is ruled down. 20 yards on the play. Great play by this Cardinal, uh, this Cardinals offense. And hey, you know what? 
I'm not too displeased with, I mean, a lot of people would be, but again, you don't have Brandon Decker, you're starting quarterback, it's like the Packers without Aaron Rodgers, the Steelers without Ben Roethlisberger, the Patriots without Tom Brady, you name it, it's literally like that. This guy is just so important to this team, they can't function without him, and the whole team can't function without him. And hey, it's okay. Hopefully he's back uh, next week. We got against Hamilton West. This is Notre Dame offense, though. I think you got potential college football players right here. I think you got Nick Saban. You got uh, Ed, Ed, what's his face? Uh, Ed Orgener, uh, LSU coach. You know, you got t t Tennessee. I think they'll be giving these guys a call because these guys are balling real hard. So expect these guys. Uh, if there are any seniors here, expect these guys to be on college football next year in the SEC or ACC, Clemson, you name it. They're probably going to be playing for the SEC here. So expect these guys to play in the college football next year. Some of them might even be contending for a national championship. And then in four or five years, you'll see them going to the national draft. They'll either go to the Patriots or they'll go to the Browns, one or the other. But that'll be it here. We got one minute left to go in this game. It has been a great, it's been an, an amazing, unbelievable performance. I love what I saw from Jake Renda, from uh, from Roy Williams, from from Roy Williams, Leon Jones, who caught a 40-yard touchdown. Hasn't done much since, but he caught that touchdown, and that's just unbelievable. Uh, a great play by Skrill, uh, Sprill Ricky. An amazing job by him. Uh, an amazing job by Cortez Williams scoring three touchdowns today. Jake Renda is just so amazing. He just reminds me of Lamar Jackson. Honestly, I think he's the next Lamar Jackson. There could be other Lamar Jacksons in New Jersey, in the nation. But you know, this guy kind of reminds me of Lamar Jackson, so who knows. But I love what I saw from the Notre Dame uh, today. They did an amazing job today. Uh, props to them all, um, you know, staying consistent throughout. Uh, that head coach of his, Clancy. Uh, the head coach, uh, Sean Clancy, did an unbelievable job today. His first year as head coach. At this time, Notre Dame, unless the Lawrence can score with the next few seconds, Lauren, Notre Dame will win this game with a score of 47 to 0. They will win with a shutout. They come into Lawrence and shut the Cardinals out with a score of 47 0. They come into Lawrence Stadium and Shinniums and shut the Cardinals out. It was a great game today. Amazing offense on this Notre Dame. Still plenty of worry left to do by Robert Rattis. He did a great job today. Again, Brandon Deckard was injured today. I can't wait to see what this Cardinals team uh, will do. And that'll probably do it here as we got a timeout left. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. All right, here we go. Final play of the game. And we might have a touchdown, and we might Lance not. Lopez again Eight seconds, Lance turn. Lopez. Five, four, three, two, one. Timeout caught. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. Play. Here we go! Fumble! And it is uh, recovered by Notre Dame, and that'll do it, ladies and gentlemen. The end of the game. The Lawrence Cardinals versus Notre Dame. The Notre Dame Fighting Irish wins this with a score of 47 to nothing. They come into Lawrence Stadium and shot the Cardinals out. What a game, what a play, and that'll do it here. I'm Savoy Tyre, the elite announcer, Cardinal Sports Network. Thank you for tuning in for this broadcast today, and we will see you in our next broadcast. Again, the final score, 47 to zero. The Fighting Irish wins it today. They will improve to three and zero. Lawrence goes to zero and two. An amazing game today. Absolute fun. Jake Renda, props to him. Final score, 47 nothing. See you next week. The home of the Cardinals.